Welcome back. Welcome back, fam. This is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. I hope you've been enjoying yourself, learning more about your purpose, your mission, your life path, and all the different synchronicities that have been popping up in your life, especially with these nature guys, right? Because now that you've been learning more about these different nature guys, they will present themselves to you. But, you know, especially if you're open to receive these messages, okay? There are no accidents or coincidences. Everything happens for a reason and happens in divine order, okay? So, we are continuing our Nature Guide series, and these are nothing more than our universal messengers and also our greatest teachers in the skies, guys. But again, only if we open to receive the messages from the universe and from our ancestors and our spiritual team, believe it or not, from the time you was born, each and every one of us has a you know guardian angel, a protector, so to speak, a spiritual team. They want us to, you know, want to see us win and grow and elevate, right? The frequency and vibration of the planet on our hero's journey, okay? And that's, you know, things been happening for you for a reason. And you've been getting some kind of, you know, all this different kind of help. You don't know how, but somehow, some way, things been working out. Or the universe been pushing you in the, in the corner like, hey, it's time for you to step up to the, to the plate, champ, okay? And things had to, you know, actually had to break down so you can have this breakthrough in the skies, right? But there are no accidents. So you know that, hey, you, you trust the universe, you trust yourself, you know, first and foremost, right? And you really want to embrace the unknown because you know there's more to life than what you've been told. And you ready to embrace your hero's journey, you know? And so, and this is where, where I fall into play. I'm one of the many mentors along your path here. I'm here to share my ups and downs with you so you don't repeat the same mistakes that I did along my path. And and also to share some tips with you so you can skip some level like these seven hermetic principles. I promise you, if you put these things to use, I'm, <laughs> they would, you would gladly thank me later, okay? But by you skipping levels, you get a bird's eye view. Okay, however, you're still going to get that experience. You're going to go through this, this this rebirth, transformation, atonement process. But at the same time frame, you're going to respect, you know, being able to skip those levels and, and see and gather a lot of experience, in other words, too. Because each and every day, our ultimate goal is to become, you know, the greatest version of ourselves and be a different, stronger, wiser person than we were yesterday. So the greatest competition that we have is becoming better than, you know, than the person we were yesterday. OK, so without further ado, guys, you know, I want to get too far off track. Be, be sure to click that like subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate you. And today, guys, is all about the crane common nature, guys, symbolism and why you keep seeing these cranes popping up in your life. You know, you know, you're driving down the road. You name it, you know, on TV, they pop up. And why are they, you know, in these formations, right? But again, our purpose and mission require to learn a lot of life lessons and to gain experience and knowledge for our soul's growth. So if you've been doing the same thing, expecting different results, it's not going to happen, okay? You have to change your routine, change your mindset, and change, you know, the way you go about doing things, okay? But along your journey, you're going to get different results. You're going to make some mistakes. However, you're going to gain a lot of experience and it's going to make you wise in the long run. But share your knowledge and wisdom with people as you grow through this process of self-discovery, knowledge of self. Because there's always more to know, right? But trust your own intuition. It's not about believing Chris. I'm just sharing my experience with you and, and knowing that it's going to help, you know, assist you along your hero's journey as well, right? But to have that greater alignment, guys, remember, as always. Your thoughts, belief, words, emotions, and actions going to equal your reality and your results. And at this present time, always keep your money in check, okay? Always, you know, remember that 10% rule. Pay yourself 10% every time you get a check or every time you get your increase coming in, your cash flow, right? You know, you want to pay yourself 10%, even if it's like a penny, okay? So you want to pay yourself 10%. And you're going to, you know, over time as that compounds, right, you know, have that three to five year plan with, with that money. And then, you know, you're going to invest into your next asset, right? Not a liability, but the next assets. All right. So the ultimate goal is we want to stack up a whole bunch of assets so those assets can pay for our liabilities. OK, but learn about dividend stock cryptocurrency. Check the description down below. You, you know, you get to, you know, earn some free crypto while you know learning about crypto on coinbase but i have some information down in the description area down below but learn about dollar cost averaging monthly weekly daily you will greatly thank me later okay 
But again, today, guys, it's all about the crow. I mean, the crane common symbolism. And, you know, along my journey, if when you are in, you know, really embracing this crow, it, it reminds me, you know, of like, hey, are you having trouble finding time for your spiritual pursuits? Is it often difficult to really concentrate on what's important to you in life? Like, how much time do you do you devote to your spiritual life, your home, work, and family? And these are constant reminders, you know, every time I see the crane, okay? But before, you know, we, we get out of here and sum things up with the symbolism, guys, remember, be the cause in your life instead of waiting for the effect to happen. The people that wait for the effect to happen, these are the people that wait for, that actually believe in luck because they have no idea where the cause came from. But the people, you know, that, you know, create all the causes in their life, they don't, you know, they believe that and they know that they create their own luck because through intent and radical action and proper action and having some goals, right, they're going to create a whole bunch of effects to happen in their lives, right? So they're creating their own reality. they creating their own luck, their belief system, right? And also, learn these seven hermetic principles. I promise you guys going to take you far to Kabbalion. But learn about your life path number, personal year, and natal chart as well. But as we close, guys, when I sum things up, when it comes to the symbolism of the crane, okay, it, it stands for freedom, intelligence, good fortune, longevity, long-lasting marriage, maternal love. And as a spiritual animal on the internal side, you know, deep within you, right, you are wise gracious secretive as well as well as you know protective of yourself and your family and if it sticks to you you know out to you in dreams it signif you know signifies happiness transformation maternal affection and your gestures of good intentions okay but as we close guys when these nature guys they pop up in your life they're gonna come in various formations okay and the universe and the ancestors, your spiritual team, they try, they very hard to get your attention all day, every day. All right. And the numbers don't stop. All right. They may come, you know, when you see these animals, yeah, it may look great. Right. But look at how many, you know, the universe don't make any mistakes here. Okay. But are you open to receive the messages? But as we close, guys. When I, every time I, if I sum things up, when I see the crane and which I see them all the time, my family and I, it's all about focus and creativity. Am I really tapping in? Am I really having that concentrated focus on my goals and my vision? And, you know, knowing through radical action and repetition, things going to compound and I'll be able to reassess to see if I'm really traveling in the right direction or I may need to make some adjustments along the way. Okay. But. When it comes to focus and creativity, you got to have that patience and that concentration like I mentioned to you guys before, okay? But remember, the lips of wisdom are closest up to the ears of understanding, the cabalion. When the pupil is ready to receive the truth, then with this little book, come to him or her, the cabalion. The law of attraction will bring lips and ear together, pupil and book in company. As we get out of here, guys, anim animal symbolism will always remind you of the moral of your, your own story of your hero's journey. OK, I'm here to remind you of your your greatness. You just a reflection of me a different time and space. I'm letting you know, like, hey, you got this. All right. <laughs> you know, you are very wise. So just keep going. OK, but these nature guys, they're going to help remind you of the moral of your story, your hero's journey. And then they also show you the connection between ourselves and nature, the natural world. Right. Just as the astrolog astrological science suggests personality characteristics, the animals too, you know, show, you know, different attributes on our lives as well. These animal guys can show us a deeper understanding and also allow us to receive impressions when requesting insights and inner awareness, inner awareness without clouding our intuitive perception and our overall judgment. So in summary, when it comes to this crane, guys, you know, in my experience. Remember, all, remember, everything has this principle of polarity here. So when you see these nature guys, when they present themselves to you and your life, right? It may be some things you need to work on. It may be some things you're doing very well at. So you, you have to be able to gauge the situation for what it is. That's why, you know, I always tell you guys, there's no cookie cutter recipe. You know, these meaning and these, you know, synchronistic events are geared just for you. So it's up to you to figure out what the message is for you. 
Okay, but when you see this crane, you know, in summary for me, always, it always remind me of Tehuti, okay, or Thoth, Mercury, Hermes, right? All these various names, but, but Tehuti, you know, and you know, he invented the alphabet. This guy invented the alphabet, you know, after watching cranes in flight. And, it's, you know, they have it documented, the Romans documented this stuff. And, you know, that's been the story of my life. You know, it's just, I love, I love nature and I love, especially when, you know, I, I remembered, you know, my greater purpose, my mission. I realized how much I love myself and I love life and I love you guys enough to share my ups and downs, my experiences with you. Right. So here I am today. But in summary, my five takeaways when it comes to the crane, that's enough about me. <laughs> it's time for you to identify and balance your priorities in life. Also, maintain focus, even though things may not be working out, you know, too squirrely for you right now. I mean, you, things may be a little shaky right now. OK, but maintain focus. It's all about focus. And remember, it's all about reassessing, refining, and repeating. That's my that's one of my mantras, you know, refine and repeat. OK, but number two is remind you about creativity, your intuition, joy, that motherly love happy marriages you know integrity and again balance okay i'm gonna say this over and over again number three it's time for you to reflect you know if you haven't been doing daily reflection it's never too late to start so start today you know or every time you go through a you know a certain situation in your life you know if you're at work you had a a, a, a good meeting or something like that Sometimes reflect that meeting, you know, it, are there some things you could have, you know, did better in that meeting? Could you spoke up, you know, should you, sp you know, spoken up, you know, during that time frame? Or, you know, should you kind of like tone it down a little bit and let your, your, your teammates speak up a little bit? So I'll, I'm saying all that, you know, make, you know, daily reflection a habit, okay? Make that part of your daily routine, in other words. But the crane asks you, how can you really use your life experiences as a tool you know tool for these current situations and circumstances right so are you really you know using your life you know is your life really your business because your life is your business right so you need to turn all those ups and downs those skills you learn from all these different jobs and you know experiences and turn them into some kind of you know outlet for you to share with other people like like me so you know a lot of you guys i know you guys love to talk right you know, share your ups and downs, start a podcast, you know, and it's all about your intent. When you when you really come from the heart and you want to add value to people, the universe going to line the right people in your life. OK, you know, to support your growth. OK, but it's all about taking action. Most people are a little scared, so don't be scared. You know, plant that seed, but keep planting, nurturing that seed over and over again. But use those, you know, experiences as a tool. OK. But don't reveal too much of your plans right now, but just go with the flow. Number four, use your increase because you, many of you guys been investing in, in cryptocurrency, different stocks and things like that. You've really been growing through this process because you like, hey, you know, some kind of way, you know, my spirit led me to this information. Uh, I'm going to, you know, invest in myself. So you've been really planting those seeds. So if you haven't planted those seeds and, you know, it's never too late. So learn about crypto, but check my description. OK, but. As you get this increase, remember, you know, invest in the assets, not liabilities. Okay, it's okay to spoil yourself a little bit, but don't go overboard. But the biggest takeaway, always pay yourself 10% first. But read my biggest takeaway when it comes to a reference with this increase. Read the richest man in Babylon three times. It will take you far. You will gladly thank me too. <laughs> okay. But as you know, as always. You're going to learn so much information and it's so much information I've learned. I can't put it in, into this just this one presentation, but on the surface level, I'm just letting you know the crane, what the crane is reminding you, you of along your journey. But, you know, the, as you grow through this process of self-discovery and knowledge of self and you just become the greatest version of you. Right. And I'm just reminding you that, hey, you're doing a great job, but share your knowledge and wisdom with people. It's time for us to help people to help themselves, teach people how to fish, and you know, instead of being a consumer. There's plenty of fish out there. Stop being greedy, okay? But it's time for each and every one of us to become our, you know, be become a mentor. And that's all about balance, you know, leadership and mentor balance, okay? But 
as you, you know, these nature guys present themselves, be mindful of the different colors and times you experience these, you know, these different nature guys. And what you always accept that as instincts or, you know, conscience or a vivid dream or nothing more than your spiritual team just constantly trying to get your attention and get your butt back in alignment, okay? But you have to be open to receive the messages. But as you, you know, grow through this process, you're going to get a, a lot of ideas, guys. Make sure you write these things down, okay? I see a lot of people get these downloads, you know, or different ideas, genius ideas, and they, they may write them down, but they don't take action. You're going to make some mistakes, and it's okay. But as you make mistakes, you know, you're going to, you know, refine and repeat, and you're going to figure out what really worked, what doesn't work. You're going to add more things to, you know, your toolbox to make it even better and stronger right through the process. But it's going to, you know, you're going to get that experience and that experience is going to make you wise. Right. And you're going to be become a great mentor through that process because you share some real life experiences. Right. Versus just, you know, being a repeating parent and, and pulling some stuff, you know, from a book or just from a website. Right. But the most important aspect, you know, through this process, as we get ready to wrap this nature guide series up, guys, have fun. OK. But this is all, you know, been all about the crane common nature guide symbolism. Our purpose and mission require to learn a lot of life lessons to gain experience and knowledge for our soul's growth. You know, it's never too late, you know, to start over. So change your input. If you want a new output, do something new in your life if you want a new result, okay? But share your knowledge and wisdom with people. Trust your own intuition. Your thoughts, beliefs, words, emotions, and actions are always going to equal your reality and your results. Keep your money in check. Read that richest man of Babylon. I promise you, you're going to thank me in the long run. Have fun, guys. Be sure to click that like, subscribe button down below. This is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. We'll be back with our next presentation. Until then, stay grateful and focused, fam. Peace.